I'm Brian Petrie. The demand for lithium ion batteries is rapidly increasing. They are incredibly popular these days and are used in consumer electronics. You can find them in cell phones, laptops, iPods, iPads, smartphones, and digital cameras. Their advantages include the best energy to weight ratios, no memory effect, and a slow loss of charge when not in use. Beyond consumer electronics, lithium ion batteries are growing in popularity for electric vehicle, military, and aerospace applications. Research is yielding a steady stream of improvements in the technology with advances in energy density, durability, cost, and safety. Some of the current hybrid vehicles and all of the new electric vehicles like Tesla's Roadster and Model S, Chevy's Volt, Nissan's Leaf, and Toyota's RAV4 rely on lithium-ion battery packs. It's likely that other electric car contenders will too. With the ever-increasing demand for consumer electronics and electric vehicles, it appears the need for lithium will continue to grow. Until just recently, it had been thought that Bolivia had more than half the world's supply of lithium. However, a new report in June by the New York Times tells of an internal Pentagon memo stating vast deposits of lithium have been discovered in Afghanistan. Afghanistan could become the Saudi Arabia of lithium. From an investment perspective, researching lithium battery technology companies like A123 Systems and Valence Technologies may be worthwhile. It's not possible to invest in lithium directly because futures contracts on the metal do not trade on any exchange. So, if you want to invest in lithium as the commodity of the future, the new Global X Lithium ETF Exchange Traded Fund which focuses on lithium miners and battery makers is worth considering.